many, many years I spent running, biking, swimming. The longer it was, the more intriguing it was for me. So I've done several Ironman and ultra runs. I ran 100 miles. And then I ran into a few injuries, uh, pretty significant injuries where I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do so easily. And I kept seeing all these people walking around in a sweatshirt like this, which I thought was a pretty cool logo. And I eventually walked through the door and saw craziness. And I stood at the, at the entry and kind of just looked in and people were doing things that I thought were kind of crazy. And so I left. And then I saw something, I believe Tyler put something on about could come for a free complimentary session. So I thought, why not? And I came to the complimentary session and that day was running. I believe we ran like five different rounds all the way up to a mile run, which it was like, this is cool. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in. And then I came and I went to function class and that's where I met Tina. Other than myself wanting to come here every day, she was that other reason of I'm coming to Badger. She was smart, she was motivating, she understood restrictions. And I think that's key, is not pushing someone beyond their current restrictions. Because I'd look over, which I would call it the big girls gym or big boys gym, and I would see people throwing weights and lifting barbells over their head with a lot of plates on them and movements that I thought, I don't, I don't know about those movements. Coordination is not something that I've been gifted with. My mine is straight, run, bike, swim, straight. So some of the movements over in the, like I said, the big girls gym were a little intimidating for me. But ultimately, as I continued to get better and stronger and improve my mobility, I made my way over to the big girls gym. That was a great transition too because the coaches that, you know, I, I worked again with Tina and Joe and, and Ashley, and they all understand each person's restriction. So the beauty of CrossFit, and again, what makes Badger really good is they have coaches that understand that, is there's always something you can do. It doesn't matter. Don't set limitations on what you can't do because there's always something you can do. And when I had those significant injuries, some people would say, there's absolutely no way you should be coming back to Badger. And I looked at it the reverse. There's absolutely no way I should not be coming back to Badger. So coming to Badger gave me all kinds of outlets of things that I could do. So if your legs are injured, there's something you can do for your upper body. If you have an upper body injury, there's something that you can do with your lower body. The beauty of, with Badger again is, and CrossFit, but again, Badger with the coaches, is there's always something you can do and they will help you get to that point. People who know that I do CrossFit, the, a lot of the times the first thing would be like, oh my God, I could never do that. And the first thing I always say to everyone when they say they never can do something, my question always is, do you want to do it? If you want to do it, there's no reason why you can't do it. So what I tell everyone who is interested in CrossFit is just give it a try. And if you try Badger, I can guarantee you there will be some kind of positive outcome, whether it be the coaches, uh, the success that you can do something you couldn't do before, or the community. And the community for me is one of the most important things about coming to Badger. Look at how CrossFit and what you've learned at Badger helps you become a better athlete in whatever you're doing. And so that's kind of the, the caveat and the why do I keep coming? And the other, why do I keep coming? So I can see my friends. I can see Josh. I can see Lewis and Brian and Katie and the, you know, Sarah. It just goes on and on and on. One of the cool things about Badger is we do a question of the day. And they're, they're goofy questions, but they're fun questions. But it's always introduce yourself and then answer this question. And that's how you can start, oh, that's Josh, okay? And that's Karen, and that's... The one thing about Badger is really, I always say everyone knows your name. It's sort of like cheers. And I just recently came back from Ireland and they have a saying in Ireland, which I'm gonna apply it to Badger. In Ireland, everyone's your friend. You just haven't met them yet. So that's how I look at Badger. You walk in the door, and everyone is your friend you've just not yet met. 
and then it just continues to grow and you really do create an amazing community and that's why I come back every day.